What's happening there guys and welcome back to Unveiling Wild. Most individuals have an animal phobia of some kind, whether it's a dread of sharks as a result of sensationalist blockbusters or a fear of anything creepy and crawly, but which animals are worth fearing after all? You may be surprised by the content that we have for you in this video. Ferocious monsters come in various kinds and sizes and they may be quite dangerous. Some actively cause a huge number of human deaths, while others are very unknown, yet exceedingly deadly when they come in contact with humans. Here are the top 10 most dangerous animals in the world. Before we get started, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on more videos like this in the future. Number 10. Hippopotamus Hippos may seem to be huge foolish creatures, yet they're frequently regarded as Africa's most lethal weapon. They're territorial, unpredictable, and equipped with a mouthful of razor-sharp fangs capable of inflicting devastating harm. If their domain is invaded, whether by a crocodile, another hippo, or a boat full of people, they will fight back vehemently. Hippos attack with canine teeth over 2 feet long and a pressure of 2,000 pounds per square inch when they attack. To put it into context, a lion exerts half this much pressure when biting its hardest. As if that wasn't enough, hippos sweat a crimson liquid that resembles blood, cementing their status as the world's most metal mammal. Number 9. Box Jellyfish These translucent, virtually invisible crustaceans are often seen floating or extremely slowly swimming at speeds of up to 5 miles per hour in Indo-Pacific seas, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration considers them to be the world's most poisonous marine species. Up to 15 tentacles may grow up to 10 feet long in their eponymous cubic frames. Every year, they murder 20 to 40 persons in the Philippines alone. Those who are fortunate enough to make it to the hospital and obtain the antidote may feel significant discomfort for weeks later, and the creature's tentacles may leave them with ugly scars. Number 8. Golden Poison Dart Frog Poison darts are a huge and varied collection of brilliantly colored frogs with just a few species posing a serious threat to humans. The golden poison dart, which grows about 2 inches long and lives in a restricted region of rainforest along Colombia's Pacific coast, is the most lethal, roughly the size of a paperclip. Its poison, but trotrotoxin, is so strong that one frog may kill up to 10 mature men, which is 2 micrograms, roughly the amount that would fit on the tip of a pin, being enough to kill a single person. But the amphibian's poison glands are situated under its skin, so even a little contact might cause difficulty. It's a little surprising that for millennia, the indigenous emperor people have infused the frog's venom into the points of their hunting blow darts. Unfortunately, deforestation has put the frog on various endangered species lists, so if you see one trekking, don't grab for it. Number 7. Saw-Scaled Viper from India while many snake species have enough venom to kill a person, not all of them use the multi-layered strategy used by the Indian saw-scaled viper. These reptiles, sometimes known as the small Indian viper or the saw-scaled viper, dwell in some of the most densely inhabited portions of the region they inhabit, which extends far beyond India. They manage to stay unnoticed by blending with the arid environment with their natural camouflage. Because the snakes are most active at night, Listen for their protective sizzling sound, which is caused by a behavior called stridulation, in which the snake coils and rubs its scales together. Even with a warning, saw-scaled vipers are exceedingly aggressive, with each bite delivering more than double the deadly amount. Fortunately, anti-venom is available. Number 6. Pufferfish Blowfish, otherwise known as pufferfish, may be found in tropical oceans all over the world. Though they're the world's second most poisonous vertebrate after the golden arrow dart frog, they're arguably more dangerous because their neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin is found in the fish's skin, muscle tissue, liver, kidneys, and gonads, all of which must be avoided when the creature is prepared for human consumption. While natural encounters with puffer fish are undoubtedly perilous, the risk of death from eating one rises in nations such as Japan, where it's regarded as a delicacy known as fugu and can only be cooked by professional certified chefs. Number 5. Inland Taipan Viper First, the good news. Inland Taipan snakes, called Dandrobilla by Aboriginal Australians, are reclusive, docile snakes, unlikely to get aggressive with humans without cause. 
The bad news is that when people sneak up on inland taipans or try to handle them, they're well equipped to defend themselves. The venom of inland taipans is considered the most toxic of any snake on the planet, and they strike quickly and accurately when the need arises. And did we mention that they evolved specifically to bring down mammals? A single bite has the capacity to take out 100 grown humans, causing organ failure, convulsions, and paralysis until death occurs. Number 4. The Wandering Spider from Brazil If the spider's size, which could grow to be 5 to 7 inches long, isn't enough to give you a heart attack, its extremely deadly bite would. Most spiders carry poison in their fangs, although they aren't known to bite humans. The Brazilian Wandering Spider, however, is not one of them. Worse, this spider often plays true to its name, wandering into heavily populated regions in search of dark, comfy places to hide, such as the insides of shoes, garments, log heaps, vehicles, and other places where humans could insert their hands. Number 3. Stonefish It's by design that the most poisonous fish known to humans is easiest to overlook. From all, stonefish are called this after their resemblance to rocks, Rusting perfectly motionless and blending neatly into the bottom, where an unwary foot might easily trend down on their dorsal fins, primed and ready to strike with deadly neurotoxins. The unluckiest clodhoppers will step hard, increasing the quantity of venom injected and perhaps triggering the stonefish's secondary defensive mechanism, known as a lacrimal saber, which has been compared to a switchblade of the face. Yikes! The stonefish venom may be fatal within an hour, thus suffers. The sufferer should seek anti-venom as soon as possible using water heated to above 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius to denature the venom in the interim. It's a lot simpler to simply keep an eye on where you're stepping. Number 2. Saltwater Crocodile Alligators in Florida are frightening, but they're nothing compared to its cousin, the terrifying crocodile, which is much more irritable, easily irritated, and hostile towards anyone that gets in its way. The saltwater crocodile is the world's biggest and most deadly species. Crocodiles, which may grow to be 23 feet long and weigh more than a ton, are known to murder hundreds of people each year, with crocodiles in general being responsible for more human deaths than sharks. And then again, so are cars. Saltwater crocodiles are particularly hazardous because they're good swimmers in both salt and freshwater. Yeah, their name is confusing, and they can attack rapidly with a bite that delivers 3,700 pounds per square inch PSI of pressure comparable to that of a T-Rex. If this isn't enough to worry you, consider the following. A well-done steak is chopped at roughly 200 PSI, or about 5% of the strength of a salty's jaw. Number 1. Sensi Fly the Setsi fly, a minuscule speck of an insect that measures between 8 to 17 millimeters or approximately the same size as a typical house fly, is often found in Sub-Saharan Africa, particularly in nations in the continent's center. The genuine fear of the flies is the protozoan parasites they transmit known as trypanosomes. While the flies themselves are horrible blood-sucking bugs that normally feed during the peak warm hours of the day, their true terror is the protozoan parasites they disseminate, known as trypanosomes. These tiny organisms are the cause of African sleeping sickness, a neurological and meningoencephalitic condition characterized by behavioral abnormalities, poor coordination, and sleeping cycle disruptions that give the disease its name. The disorder may be lethal if left untreated. While there are no vaccines or medications available to prevent infection, Wearing neutral colored clothing, as the Setsi fly is attracted to bright and dark colors, particularly blue, avoiding bushes during the day, and using permethrin treated gear in more remote areas are all effective methods of protection. And that's all we have for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, then do let us know by leaving a like, and if you wish to be notified of more such content in the future, then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Until next time, take care and Goodbye.